There are currently seven espers in Academy City who have been assigned a rank of level 5, making their psychic powers as valuable as nuclear weapons. But it is implied that there is a hidden number 0 level 5, and could it be the main character, Kamijo Toma? Is there some truth to this, or is it just a prank? Stay tuned to the end to find out. The one thing that everyone knows about Toma, other than his bad luck, is his Imagine Breaker ability, which is classified as neither an Esper power or magic, falling into a third unique category of powers of special right hand users. Despite common misconceptions, Toma is indeed still an Esper by default, as he is infamously ranked level zero while also being able to defeat the strongest Esper in the city, Accelerator, and can even do this. Wait a sec, I thought level zeros were meant to be powerless, so how do you explain this Aeon? Well listen closely, as Toma has undergone drugs and experiments via the power curriculum program to try and develop psychic powers, he has developed something known as an AIM diffusion field, which is the energy that all espers passively emit to produce their powers. Since he has one, it technically makes him an esper even if he has powers or not. For example, there are many delinquents in Academy City that are technically level 0 espers like Hamazara with absolutely no powers whatsoever and yet they are still classified as espers. It is very rare but possible for level 0s to have esper powers like Tsuchimikado Motoharu's auto rebirth ability which heals him over the course of time, but level 0 esper powers tend to be ones that their user cannot control. Toma as well has a power, just not an esper one, as he was in fact born with a Magin Breaker. It wasn't developed in Academy City. Due to this fact, it led Kumakawa Seria to assume that Toma is a gemstone, or a natural esper, as some espers like Sogita Gunha are indeed born with their powers and haven't gone through the power curriculum, but they're even more rare, with only about 50 in the entire world. Toma being a gemstone was disproven as it's been stated that Imagine Breaker is not entirely science based, which dismisses that theory. So yeah, due to his special right hand not being detected by the system scan of Academy City, he was classed as level 0 as a result, in spite of the incredible power of the ability that can easily beat some of the strongest espers in the city. But Imagine Breaker isn't the only ability Toma has, and no, I'm not talking about the crazy dragons. Over the course of the series, Toma develops precognition, allowing him to predict the movements of his enemies due to his muscle memory of fighting lots of bad guys. And again, it's not his esper power, despite what some people will tell you on the internet. This is because it was directly stated to be the result of experience through natural combat. It is equivalent to the skill of a talented fighter, if anything. It is not supernatural based. Although saying that, Imagine Breaker does admittedly work in conjunction with his precognition, as it can act as a lightning rod towards Esper related attacks, such as Misuka's electricity, with it being attracted towards Imagine Breaker, which is how Toma always seemingly is able to counter it despite the ridiculous speeds it moves at. However, what if Toma was assigned a level of zero on purpose and his true level should be in fact five, which would allow him to join a handful of espers who stand at the very top of Academy City. Toma being a level zero was super convenient for the board chairman of Academy City, Alistair Crowley who used Toma's bottom tiered rank as an excuse to justify using him in magic related conflicts in the city. Therefore, Toma being a level 0 was likely purely intentional by Alistair and also to draw less attention to him as the cornerstone of his plan to destroy magic. If everyone knew Toma was important, likely all the crazy ass researchers would be on his ass. 
Kihara Gensei even assumed Misaka was Alistair's favorite, as she was the one chosen for the clone project, which is what made achieving level 6 a possibility in the first place. Little did he know, Toma is actually the favorite, a relatively normal level 0 dumbass with the most extraordinary ability in the city that contradicts the logic of science itself. Alistair used the excuse of Toma being a level 0 to justify using his convenient power to deal with enemy magicians in the city. If Alistair used a level 5 for example, the magic side might feel more threatened due to the sheer power and value in the world of Index, which then could lead to the magic side declaring war upon Academy City. Alistair talks to the Anglican magician style Magnus. But didn't you say that we can't use espers to beat magicians? You don't have to worry about that. Alistair said in a tone as if he had memorized it. Firstly, he's a level zero, so he doesn't carry any valuable information. Even if I let him go work with you, there's no fear that he'll leak information on our secrets. Oh. Uh. Secondly, he doesn't have the intelligence to understand your techniques. Therefore, none of your information would lead to us if he acted in conjunction with you, either. That's pretty much the nail in the coffin. Toma was purposefully made a level zero for a clever reason. However, there could be a catch. Since Imagine Breaker actively nullifies any Esper power and his trusty right hand is confirmed to be neither magic or science, could it be that Toma's actual Esper power is being suppressed or sealed due to the presence of Imagine Breaker? I've always been a bit skeptical of this theory as surely the system scans of Academy City would be able to detect this power if he did have it. Although, if he's not able to display or use it, then maybe not. Imagine Breaker might also be actively weakening Toma's aim field, making it seem like he can't produce a lot of the energy. There just seems to be a lot of different possibilities. Could there be any further evidence to back up this theory? Perhaps there is. By the way, if you want to see a new theory I have about Imagine Breaker's origins, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to not miss out as I believe I have solved the mystery. Alistair mentioned about a possible number 0 level 5 in New Testament Volume 21. This is obviously surprising as there are currently only 7 level 5s in Academy City, even if there were other generations in the past. And in order to be classified as one, you need approval by the board of directors and likely Alistair as well. So if a secret level 5 did exist, I don't think it would be an official rank. More so an Esper who should be ranked as one, but isn't for whatever reason. You see how this could be Toma? Anyway, Alistair said, Anna Sprengel. No one ever actually met that legendary individual who only appeared in letters. It sounds utterly ridiculous, but that is the world we live in. I mean, wouldn't it be exciting if there was actually a mysterious number zero level five? A missing superior rank has such a strange draw and persuasive ability. Even if you have no proof of its existence, you can assume it is due to your lack of experience. It's interesting as Anna Sprengel was not proved to be just a myth, but someone who does indeed exist. However, Alistair had no idea about this at the time he said this quote. Therefore, he might have used a completely different example with prior knowledge. As if a number 0 level 5 Esper truly did exist, why would Alistair compare it to someone he wasn't even sure existed in the first place? Well, Alistair likely never thought 100% that Anna never existed. He believed that he also achieved a similar level of existence to Anna, possibly referencing that he became a legendary figure or that his state of existence can no longer be easily defined since many assumed he was dead. If the number 0 thing is true, is it even Toma or some unknown character we haven't even heard of? Could it be the beginning child instead who was basically locked in a cryo chamber for decades? With the mystery surrounding Toma's powers, it does make him a potential contender. Alistair literally knows everything there is to know about Toma's powers, but never spills the beans. Come on Alistair, the fans have been waiting for nearly 20 years to know what the fuck the story behind Toma's powers are. At least we do know 
know more about Imagine Breaker, but the dragons, invisible thing, etc. all remained unexplained to this day. We do know that the dragons are affected by AIM energy, as the angel dragon was attracted to Shundan Kimi to leech off her giant power source with her esper power creating a black hole in the universe. Would Toma need a vast amount of aim to have attracted the dragons to him in the first place? Or did Alistair simply abduct Toma as a young kid, that sounds really sus, and then somehow implanted the dragons within his arm, as it was confirmed Toma was indeed born with his special right hand? Whether that includes the dragons or some weird shit inside is unknown. Now I want to talk about the significance of Toma and the number zero. If we are truly treating this crack fish, Theory as legit. The most obvious pointer is that Toma is the most powerful and notorious level zero in Academy City. He's pretty much an urban legend according to Saturn, so that way his level number would correlate to his rank. And the fact he warped Accelerator's ass multiple times, which would place him above the top dog. Ignoring the fact Toma got wrecked by Motoharu, a fellow level zero. The other thing is that certain numbers have meaning in the perspective of the magic side, like how magicians place numbers at the end of their magic names, what does zero represent? Well, in Alistair's own Foth tarot, that's Foth and not Foth by the way, it represented the Fool Arcana card, which is perfect for Toma, as not only is Toma not the sharpest tool in the shed, the Fool card is often seen as the precursor to the Joker card you see in modern playing decks. Toma has been referenced as a Joker type character in the series due to him being able to beat enemies on paper who should be much stronger than he is, while also losing to opponents that are way weaker than others he has faced. The tarot is also referenced multiple times in the arc where Alistair mentioned the mysterious number zero. Coincidence? I think not. Furthermore, Alistair also used several different magic side concepts for the basis of Academy City, which in itself acts as the scientific temple which summons artificial angels. And yet Railgun Onlys will act like the science side is completely different to the magic stuff without even doing an ounce of research or looking deeper. Ignorance is truly bliss. Overall, admittedly, I'm not a strong advocate of the Toma Level 5 theory, as it does feel like a blank statement by Alistair. But hey, Kamachi is known to bring random ass statements like this and turn them into full plot points later on. It happened with Anna Sprengel after all, so who knows? I guess we will have to wait and see in five years time. Index is truly a life investment, I swear. The question is, what would Toma's Esper power as a Level 5 even be? Would it be something that can work with Imagine Breaker or something where he can't use both at the same time? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Toma and Level 5 Esper content, click on these awesome videos right now and you won't regret it.